Greetings, you're here, and welcome back to the Liquid Crystal Fairy Pseudomon type run. Last time I started this game's final story arc in the Orange Islands, caught Kyogre, and retrieved the GS Ball for Professor Oak. So, uh, yeah, this time we'll be doing as Professor suggested and taking on the first of the two Orange Islands gym leaders that are actually in this hack. Again, it was never actually finished. So, uh, I don't know why it wasn't finished. Maybe the dev got bored or something, decided to move on to something else. Maybe life happened. One of these days I will remember which platform is correct. But today is not that day, apparently. Um, but considering how much content is here, I'm guessing it was just feature free. And now we're here. Actually, you know what? No. With how buggy this hack is, um, I think it probably would matter whether I actually walk past that guy or not. It's stupid, but that's the way it is. So, the first gym leader is a lady named Sissy, last I checked. Uh, yep. She's basically a Misty clone. So, uh, yeah, I'm not expecting this to be much of a challenge at all. I feel like, no. Okay, now, this particular section is an ice puzzle combined with holes in the floor, so I'm actually going to save real quick, uh, because I don't want to have to repeat this section. Okay, so what's it? Yep. Over here, over here. We gotta take on this lady. I don't think it'll be that difficult as long as I'm paying attention, but you never know. It's been a while since I've played this hack, so, yeah. I don't remember everything perfectly. Go down already. Okay. Down here, down here, down here. Surprised he didn't use an electric move. Okay. Well, fuck you, bitch. Serves you right for being a smartass. Uh, screw this! Well, fuck you! Fuck that noise. Alright. Okay, yeah, this wasn't as difficult as I thought it'd be. We'll save real quick. I mean, this shouldn't be hard. She's like in the 60s, but... You know, crashes can happen. All right, now we're maxed out. Let's just let's do this. Oh, right. Yeah, Swampert's there to trip you up, just in case you use electric types. All right. Was there anything back here? Or, no, you can't go back there. That's weird. Okay. Go back the way we came in, then, I guess. Because if I recall correctly, if you fall down those holes, you can crash. So I don't want to take that chance. Okay, it didn't crash that time. Good. So let's go back in here. Now that that's done, we can talk to the cops. Good. 
but yeah, bad men, which I could have talked with earlier and found out about that, but there's some criminals down here. Yeah, know something about their sprites that looks a little familiar. And their costumes to a degree. Yeah, um, this is what we call foreshadowing. Oh, and if you're wondering about this particular music, um, because you may never have heard it before, this is the Frontier Brain battle music from Emerald Version. No, no, belly drum. Nice try. But yeah, Team Nexus. These guys are going to be the antagonists for the final arc. So now we gotta make our way through the forest. No, I'm gonna catch your pal. There we go. There are some items as in here as well. Nope. Not playing those games. We're playing my game. It's called I Win, You Lose. Oh, there's an item down there. A mushroom. Which, unlike in Vanilla Fire Red, is basically just vendor trash in this hat. Take a wild fucking guess, buddy. Yeah, no shit. Because I don't suck. Unlike you. Okay. What we got over here? Full restore. Okay. Well, at least you're able to admit that you're too weak. That's the first step to solving a problem, is recognizing that you have one in the first place. But yeah, these assholes are going to block us from going through until we take care of shit in Portfolio Cave. Well, fuck you too, bitch. Was it worth it? Gotta go up this way. Neither. They both suck. I mean, do you call that a uniform? This loot is just a t shirt and jeans. Seriously, that was the best that those bozos could source? Okay, you know what? No, no. We're not doing that. Energy powder, basically a shittier version of a super potion. Just go down already. Remember, uh, yeah, choice band. Yeah, I did. Not really, because I mean, the radio on my uh, Poke Gear has been broken since I started this, so. Fine, be that way. The 
Unfortunately for you, there still aren't any decent bug-type attacks in this hack. Because we're using Gen 3 movesets. And Gen 2 TMs. Yeah, I know that... I know that Mawal here is part of the B-team, but... Come on. Well, fuck you too. Fuck off. You're gonna run out of Destiny Bonds before I run out of Call Mines, bitch. Do something else. Getting real sick of your shit, my while. Okay, so yeah, this part you need Waterfall for. I don't think there's any Pokemon on the land, but might as well. Get over here. Nope. Let's see. Anything over here? Have a cookie? I'll say no to that. This way down here. Yeah, we can't go this way. That's how we get to the exit. Or... Wait, never mind. We do have to go that way. Kind of arbitrary the way this is set up. There's lots of going up and down waterfalls for no good reason. And soon we're gonna get to one of my biggest gripes with this hike. Uh, well, this, this hack. Ah! Fuck! So tongue tied today. Hi, Zane! Yeah, this is some bad fanfic to your writing. This is the guy who tanked a Hyper Beam from Groudon because he was sick of seeing Pokemon getting abused. And now he suddenly decides he's gonna kill, was it, nine th or mutilate thousands of Corsola for shits and giggles just because he hates you that much? I could think of. So many better ways to write a heel turn like that. Come on, this is fucking amateur hour. Just bad writing. I mean, I get it. It's a raw Mac. The guy who made this was probably a, probably a teenager or something like that. Can't hold that against him, but it's still shit writing. Now that we're back here, we can fly back to the other town. And we're gonna do that real quick. Okay, so now this uh, has been taken care of, we can finally go down this way. And make our way to the next town. Yeah, I did. Nice try. Okay, you know what? No, we're not taking chances. You would. You don't no. No. Fuck off. Nope. Oh fuck off. Yeah, well life's not fair. Fuck you. What's this? Turns out Team Rocket's not totally gone, and they're running a little business here. 
And by the way, this isn't a scam. This is a legitimate thing you could do. Now, it is dark down here, and you can't use Flash. It won't work. But there's a maze with invisible walls, and if you make your way through it, you can find random items down here. I'm not going to do it, because it's really tedious. Or at least, not on camera. But you can find some pretty rare items down here. So, let's get moving on. You gotta think about it. If they wanted to write Zane's heel turn convincingly, they should have made it so he was. They should have written it in a way that indicates that he's losing his sanity. That he's just gone crazy. Instead of just saying, oh, I'm gonna be a dick just for the sake of being a dick. I mean, yeah, card carrying villainy like that can be entertaining, but you have to write it properly. A reminder of the quote from Megaminds. What's the difference between a villain and a supervillain? Presentation. Yep, poison point. That's annoying. Pick up anything? Nope. And we don't need that right now. Okay, so yeah, that thing where he talks about the mansion, that's your hint of where you need to go next in the story, but we're actually not going to do that right away. First things first, we're going to go over here. So yeah, this is a teleporter that links you to a corresponding facility in Goldenrod City. Um, depending on how much time I've been recording, this may be what I'll finish this episode with, or I might make that the next one. But first things first, the uh, department store here, um, well, they sell they sell leathers, or eaters, however they're pronounced. So, yeah, unlike in most games, you can actually buy items that can restore your power points. It's towards the very end of the game, but you can buy them. What else do they have? Unfortunately, there's no stairs, so, uh, yeah, we have to do this all manually. Okay, uh, Moo Milks. Uh, Revival Herbs. Yeah, you know what, I will buy a bunch of these. Those could come in handy later. And these are a bunch of items, which, uh, yeah. Like, for example, white herb, bright powders, mental herbs. Anomal berry, okay. So yeah, you can just buy a random item like that. Anyways. Let's head back down to the ground. I think this is going to wrap it up, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, if you like what you see, check out the Rumble page, like, comment, subscribe, and I will catch you all next time.